Mockingjay Part 1 is among us and I really surprised myself with how much I enjoyed this film. Now the other two I did enjoy. When I first watched them I was a little bit uneasy but every time I seem to watch them again I tend to like them that little bit more but I was so surprised with how engrossed I was in this film. It was rather slow to begin with, but then it gets rolling at a really good pace. Jennifer Lawrence finally stops crying and she becomes that feisty Katniss that we love. So to me, Jennifer Lawrence is what makes these films. She is just beautiful, she commands the screen, and she just does a powerful performance. I, I generally believe without her, these films really wouldn't be all that. But there's also a bit of a negative to that because oh, those poor boys, <laughs> Josh Hutchison and Liam Hemsworth, her acting really makes them look like trees before they were carved into puppets. A really charming performance by Elizabeth Banks as Effie Trinket. It was a real shame that she didn't have more screen time because she really did light the screen up for me when she was on it. She had some wonderful dialogue and just the way she looks at Katniss just kind of just brings warmth to my heart. She's just a really excellent character. Um, unfortunately was very underused in this film. And then also there was Woody Harrelson who just always lifts me up out of my seat whenever he's on screen. I think he's a fantastic character. And, and you know what, I, when he all entered the screen I nearly clapped. I was just like, I love you Woody. <laughs> so those two characters really lift the film for me. This film is very different to the other two previous films and I have to say I really do prefer this one purely because I think it's uh, better directed, the performances are better, uh, everything just seems to have upped one, you know, and I prefer the themes and the story. You know, this is a really good lesson in propaganda. <laughs> Someone actually said to me they should show this film in schools to teach kids about propaganda because it, it really is a fantastic example of military and political propaganda and that is my favourite moment of this film, the concentration of propaganda. By this point I'd really grown to like the characters and I think that's what engrossed me in this film so much. It was less action, more talk and it's more about the actions that they're going to take. So it just became engrossing and it was a lot more suspense in this film. It was very very tense in some moments and I really did like that about this film. And what was great was it didn't feel like a chore to watch being at two hours long compared to the other films that are about a week long. <laughs> it really was refreshing to just sit there and know that it was two hours long and it flew by, absolutely flew by. What is a shame is I just don't want to have to wait so long for the next film because I generally think this excitement and enjoyment that I had from the film is just gonna ooze on out of me. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that sounded more like Close Encounters of the Third Kind. <laughs> I tried.